Hey, what's up guys, Ravenclaw here, and welcome back to another video on the Ravenclaw channel. And today I wanted to review the new expansion coming out, Shadowland, and it looks amazing. I've got to be honest, in my opinion, I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Now, if you're like me, I'm pretty sure once you finish the war campaign, you saw Sylvanas go nuts and just disappear. I'm pretty sure we all knew where the next expansion was heading. And sure enough, bam. And it's pretty funny, funny like Lich King days, you know, Sylvanas and the Lich King. And then now it's back to Sylvanas and the Lich King again, except now Sylvanas has this crazy magic power. And uh, yeah, I thought it was absolutely awesome. And watching the cinematic, it, it was, I don't know. I, I found it to be leading into something new, something fresh. But as I said, we'll get into a little bit of um, the content in a sec. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think the new expansion is going to bring. And yeah, so let's have a look. So first off, we're going to have a quick look at these covenants. From what they've said, it's sort of like a faction in itself. So first we have the Horde and the Alliance. And that's another thing with all these expansions, it's been one or the other. It's either the the Alliance and the Horde helping each other out or they hate each other and now they're helping each other out. You know what I mean? And now it, it's, it seems like it's, are, are we helping each other again? Or are we, I, I'm not sure, but the Covenants are like more of a faction from what I'm gathering. And once you choose your covenant, you get to obviously get certain abilities from that. Um, they mention things like you'll get a specific class ability from that particular covenant. Also, you'll get a, um, a sort of a covenant wide ability that you and your other members of the same covenant will hold. And along this, there was four, four realms. Yeah, four realms, um, the Bastion, the Maldraxxus, the Arden Wield, and the Raven Raven Dress. I thought it said Raven Dress, but just like, but yeah, these are the four realms, and then we have the other realm called the Moor. So I'm not going to go too far into it because all of the bits and pieces are online. But I just wanted to give you my thoughts on, you know, what this all seems like to me. It it seems good in theory. Now, one thing I don't want to see is it turn into garrisons again, like. I don't know about you guys, but I found the garrisons to be an absolute just piece of trash. You know, like it was fun when it first came out. Yeah, cool, build up the garrison. Then literally towards the end of the run, it was, who gives a crap about it? Like, you know what I mean? It was making the game turn into just this solo experience inside this little town of yours. But from, you know, from the previews and all that stuff, it seems like it's going to be really good. And obviously you'll get other bits and pieces along the way. But yeah, I just hope from what I've seen, the, there seems to be some really good value to this sort of idea. Up next, we have something that's pretty interesting, and I have been saying this quite a lot recently, is I've been looking for more uh, solo activities to do, like solo challenges and all that stuff. Like we had the Mage Tower in Legion, and that was pretty good, and a few other bits and pieces along the way, like for us hunters when we went after like Fenrir and all those other bits and pieces. But this one here seems pretty interesting like they're going on to say that it's like a random dungeon that you can enter solo so you can actually push your limits as a player not just so much as a hunter but as a player in general and you can actually take a group in with you hopefully that turns out to be as good as they're mentioning it in theory i think it'll be really fun um not only do they have the, the endless dungeon tower but they are bringing out another i think it's another eight dungeons um four of which are going to be obviously when you're leveling to help you progress and then at max level they're going to bring out another four dungeons as well which is pretty cool well it's all new content which is amazing i did not hear anything about pvp so i don't know if that's going to be in the discussion panel tomorrow but we'll soon find out now just recapping on leveling and alts in general. Leveling in any RPG is, well, can be tedious. And especially over the last few years, we've been seeing a lot more, I don't know, grind, and then we get the ability to just powerhouse through content and everything like that. So firstly, what they're doing is they're going to do a, a level squish. And now the level squish is simply, like, let's take it for example now, we've got 120. Instead of going up to 130, what they're going to do is they're going to bring it all back down to level 50 for us 120s. 
and then we are going to level from 50 up to 60. The main reason for this they are saying is so that you can level at a better pace and feel more accomplished when you do bits and pieces throughout the game. Uh, another thing that I went on to say was when you do get a level, like back in the day when we used to level up, we used to be able to get our next ability or something like that. And we used to run to the trainer, get the ability and then go test it out, which I found was awesome. Now they're going to give us some more bits of like more rewards along the way. I think that's uh, a pretty good idea because at the moment when, you, when you're power leveling through everything, you're not getting anything. And any RPG is it's based around the whole leveling process. Um, along those lines, they're also allowing players now to level in whichever expansion they want to simply meaning the expansion storyline so if you wanted to go through legion and just do legion's expansion you go ahead and do it which i think is pretty cool it makes more of a unique leveling experience instead of the monotonous run between you know zone a zone b then go to the next one i mean they did it in um, bfa which made it to i think it was one to sixty in one area and then 60 to 100 in another area but this is going to allow you to have more of a unique sort of leveling experience which i think is pretty cool um and alts this is a huge thing right now the way the game is it's just all about the grind you know in you get to max level you do all your stuff and then you go you know what i want to be a healer but then you think there is no way I'm going to go and level an alt and grind out AP and then do all this crap and then bleh. They're actually readjusting the way that the alt gameplay is going to work, which I think is wicked. So they're going to allow you to jump on an alt and simply bypass all of the entry level stuff when you want to go into the new zone. So the leveling experience will still be there, but when you get to like the 50 and 60, you'll be able to simply bypass all of the initial stuff with like the covenants and all that and just simply get straight into the gameplay which is awesome and how you're going to do it is whilst you're leveling up you're actually working towards the end game content as well that is that that's perfect no more long drawn out ridiculous quest lines anything like that i think they're finally looking towards more of the the gameplay as opposed to you know the storyline for every single one because us as players you know we we already know this we don't really care about it we care about moving forward and progressing which you know if it all comes out the way that they're saying i think it's actually going to be a really cool and nice experience and just a few little bits and pieces to sort of finish off this video it's uh as far as the covenants go you do get things like uh, your own sort of covenant specific rewards so your more cosmetic looks and things like you did with the allied races in um in wow now uh that's pretty cool like you i don't know especially i hope for one thing that the hunter gear or anything to do with the hunters actually look good because we've always been shafted when it comes to to gear so fingers crossed something good comes out of it another cool thing is customization they're actually bringing more uh customization to your characters so you can actually look a bit different to the exact same hunter that's standing right next to you um, along with the um with humans they're allowing you to change things like i think it's with everything but i think you can change like eye color they're going to give you more options to change sort of facial structure um like especially with the trolls you can do body paint and all this other stuff so that in itself is pretty cool i've always wanted something a little bit more and i've watched the game progress over the years from like having just a very basic template with like about five hairstyles then we've been to the next one where you're able to then change the the face looks and now we're at the, the stage where they can actually make it look more unique a lot of like uh, a lot of the other sort of um, higher graphical um, uh, MMOs and stuff. Pretty cool. And lastly, just so for you that don't know, there's actually a, um, a section on the store now where you can actually pre-purchase the, um, the new expansion. So you get three editions. Obviously, your basic edition comes with just your, all your basic bits and pieces. Um, your heroic edition allows you to get everything from the previous, and you do get your own flying mount, which if you do purchase it now, will be available in-game right now, which is awesome. Plus, you get yourself a, a level 120 boost along with an Xbox set, and then you can go for the epic edition with all of the previous bits and pieces. Plus, you get other little bits and pieces like i think you get a pet um you get time in-game uh, in time which is all right um 
and I think there's another thing too. I think you can get a um, a weapon effect along. It says weapon effect there, but I haven't actually seen it. So I will be going for the epic edition just because why not? We do it all the time. But yeah, that is pretty much it as far as you know. Shadowlands is involved, and my overall thoughts about this is I, I am still a bit skeptical. Like with what we've seen with Wall of Draenor, Legion, you know, BFA. They've been rehashing a lot of the same stuff. Now they have stated quite a, quite sort of intensely that a lot of this stuff has changed. They've taken all the feedback in from all the bits and pieces that we hated, and they are really focusing to bring a new style of gameplay to World of Warcraft. Fingers crossed. I really hope it does turn out to be something epic, something new and fresh that really spark a lot of interest back into the retail version of World of Warcraft. And who knows? All we can uh, do is wait and see. But yeah, that was just my quick sort of recap on what I took away from the the showing today. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions or if you have any thoughts, please let me know down below. I would really love to hear what you guys think about the new expansion about Sylvanas, about what's happening with the Horden Alliance. Are we going to be friends again? Are we not? What's going on? Anything like that, I would love to hear from you guys. But yeah. As always, guys, you keep on sniping, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.